And Jack Perrick has a detailed report from Paris on how the events of the missing flight unfolded throughout the day. Flight AH-5017 from Burkina Faso was headed to the Algerian capital of Algiers, but lost contact about 50 minutes after takeoff. The head of Burkina Faso's crisis unit says his team has found the wreckage near the Malian town of Gossi. The reason for the crash has yet to become clear. A strong suspicion is that the plane hit trouble while flying through a sandstorm. French President Francois Hollande gave assurances his government would do everything possible to recover the plane. All means will be mobilized to find this aircraft and to give the families all the information that they are asking for and our solidarity, which is total and that of the whole country. France has about 1,700 troops on the ground in Mali, a country still ravaged by civil war. At its height, around 4,000 French troops were deployed to Mali as part of Operation Serval, a mission approved in December 2012 to help end the conflict in the country. Coming just a week after the downing of MH17 over eastern Ukraine, there has been some speculation that militias in Mali could be to blame. But one so expert we Ukraine, spoke to says that's um, unlikely. The, you know, there is uh, an ongoing conflict in northern Mali, uh, but uh, by all estimates, the rebel groups down there and the extremist groups just don't have the capacities to uh, launch you know, surface-to-air missiles uh, like we saw uh, out of eastern Ukraine. Whatever the reason for the crash, the loss of more life aboard a civilian passenger plane comes as a shock. Another tragedy that will leave scores of families in its devastating wake. Jack Parrock, CCTV, Paris.